Hello everyone and welcome to Cineval Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's battle report is going to be a Middle Earth strategy battle game battle report. And it's going to be between Rohan, which I'll be playing against Steven, who's going to be playing with the Easterlings. Now, we're going to play a 500 point game and we're going to play scenario one from the core rulebook. Just pretty standard sort of stuff to get us into the field of playing the game in the proper and recording it. Uh, this will be the second game I've recorded. I recorded one a little while ago, but this will be the first one where I'm really trying to sort of understand how to record better. So if there's anything you think we can do better in the recording, uh, let us know down in the comments. We're hoping to improve, hoping to try and make the recording and sort of get the parts that you want to see on the table happen on the table and happen in the visuals for you to see. But with that said, I'm really excited. I love Middle Earth Strategy Battle game. I think it's a fantastic game system. Let's go check out the armies. So here we have 500 points of Rohan. So to start with, we have Theoden, who's our leader. He's got a shield, armored horse, and then we've got him in heavy armor as well. He's leading 10 riders of Rohan in his warband. What you see here is what they've got. So we've got five throwing spears. We then have and so then we have 500 points of Eastlings to verse them. Amdur, the Lord of Blades, is our leader. Now he's got three with pikes and shields, six warriors with shields and two bows. Uh, then we have the Eastling War Priest, who's got four archers, two pikes and shields, and three shields. And then we have the Dragon Knight with two pikes and shields and three shield warriors there. All the warriors that are not archers are upgraded to black dragons. That means they've got that nice higher fight value for them as well. Today's video is brought to you by Baron of Dice, a premium wargaming dice that make your table come alive. Now, if you're looking for some great dice to suit an army you play on the tabletop in a variety of different games, go to Baron of Dice and check out their website. You can also use our discount code down in the video's description, which will help support the channel, but also nab you a cheap little discount. The dice you see pictured here are the official dice for Parabellum's Last Argument of Kings at Conquest by them as well, which you can find on the Parabellum eStore as well. Right, so forces are deployed. So we've got Eowyn uh, over here with her warband on this far side. We then have Grimbold of Grimsdale in the center there, and Theoden and his riders of Rohan on this flank. We have Amdur and his warriors along with the Dragon Knight, and the warriors there on this flank. And over here in the forest, we have the Eastling War Priest and his warband as well. Alrighty, so priority for turn one. Let's roll. Rohan got a two. Eastlings got a five. They're going to move first. So the Eastlings move up first with your warriors coming behind a bit of cover there, but the Eastling War Priest and his archers staying over there. The Dragon Knight moves out, uh, leaving a warrior behind to man the objective, and then Amdur sets his line behind the barricade there. Rohan then moved. We moved up Grimbold of Grimsdale and the Helmingers, uh, along with Erwin and her warriors over there, with the archers staying behind. The Riders of Rohan spread out to start getting ready for a charge in later turns. Alrighty, so start of the shoot, you're starting with the first archer going into my first Helminga. You need five to hit because you moved. Nope. Go to the next archer then. Nope. Third archer. Finally get a hit. Can you get a six to kill me? Nope. And your last archer there. Doesn't hit either. So that is them done. And so we've got this one dude over here. He's going to shoot into a right of Rohan. So he needs a five because he did move. A hit. Uh, now in the way test because you are shooting over the wall. So on a four plus you succeed. You do. Now you need a six to wound. Can you do it? No. Fail at the last total. Uh, my shooting. I'm going to go to two warriors of Rohan. We're going to target the archers. We're going to roll on both. We'll kill the closest and then the next one. Uh, I did not move. So I am fours to shoot. Still only got one. Um, yeah, and in the way test first. I uh, no, hit the tree. Uh, I've got two archers back here. They did move, so they'll need fives to hit. Uh, one hit. And in the way test. No, it's a tree again. Uh, so we're going to go with all the bows on the Riders of Rohan. We're just going to target your warriors here. We'll see whether we get anything. Because first of all, we need to roll five pluses because I moved. Okay, there's a few there. We'll take that. That's well over 50%. That's a good roll. In the way test, though, because you've got the barricade. So only two of those get through. And then 
So we now need sixes to win. Got one. Killed an Eastling Warrior first. And so we killed an Eastling Warrior over there with the shots. First blood to Rohan. All right. So with that, uh, we go to priority. I got a six. You got a six. Uh, so we go into a roll off on a one to three. Evil's going to go four to six. It's a one to three. Evil will go for the turn. So we're going into your movement. Do we have any heroic moves to make? So no, we're not going to call it a heroic move. I could get into combat with him, but the fact that he has to move first, you're not in range for any charges except for like one dude over there. Um, you can just have your movements. All right, so Eastlings have all moved. You've just stayed where you are on this side. Come down into the central objective over here and you've just moved a couple of warriors off over there. Uh, mostly just getting ready for the Rohirrim's charge there. All right, so we've just moved over here with Erwin and the Helmingas from Grimbold over here. But now we're starting to charge the Rohan. So we've got the one dude in there with his throwing spear. So can he hit? Uh, nope. Uh, so the next fighter goes in. Uh, does not hit. Uh, so next rider, so we'll throw the throwing spear. He misses as well. Throwing spear from the next dude. Can we finally hit one? We do. Uh, so... And so, fives to kill with the throwing spear, I get him, so the archer dies. And so, last throwing spear there into that pikeman as well. Uh, we hit. And we make out in the way. Now, five plus. No, fail at the last. Uh, and so, that'll be the end of the move for Rohan. Uh, the rest of the horses just go like that. Uh, so, shoot phase, you start. So, your one archer there is going to target the Rohan warrior here. So, one shot. In the dice tray. Uh, he misses. Uh, so these four archers just going to shoot into the axe wielding Helmingas, so go for it. Uh, you got two hits because you didn't move this turn. Uh, so you will need sixes to kill. No. So my turn was shooting back. Uh, these two archers down into yours, so they haven't moved, so fours. Both hit. Four pluses for in the ways. One gets through, and now a six to wounds. No, fails. These three archers here shooting into yours, so all hit. Four plus in the ways, because you're in a forest. Two go through. And six is to kill. Oh, I saw that six, but nothing. Throwing spears, we have to do one at a time. So this guy's only in range of this dude at the front, so he hits. Uh, nope, fails. Next dude. Uh, fails. The other one actually failed, and they should be hitting on fives. Uh, and then the two here will hit on fives, nothing either. So two Riders of Rohan shooting the two Warriors here. So first of all, we miss. Uh, then I've got three Riders of Rohan that will shoot into your Eastland Warriors over there. So nothing moved. Uh, so that'll be it for my shooting. So combat. Uh, so we're going to work out the Archer versus the Rider of Rohan to begin with here. Uh, so, I got a six. Can you get? You got a three, so I win the fight. Two strikes into you here. Uh, so, nope, one and two will not kill you, so you just get pushed back. So, we're going to work out the next three fights here. Um, your three warriors are all going to shield, so this doubles their attacks, but you can't actually make any strikes. But it does mean we're both rolling two dice because I'm covering a plus two charge, so, uh, nope. Uh, you do win that fight with the first one, but nothing can happen. We'll then go into the fight in the middle. So, got a four. You got a four. Uh, fight value. And then the third one, the next rider, got a three. Wow, terrible. And you win that fight as well. Uh, so, nothing there on the strikes. Uh, so, that is the turn. Uh, we'll go into priority for the next turn. Uh, so, roll to see priority. I got a three. You got a three. Uh, so, roll off to see one to three evil, four to six. Uh, so, evil go again with priority. So, moves. All right. So, you're not. I'm going to declare the heroic move with Grimbold Grimsdale. Uh, you're not declaring one and back. So, I'm just going to resolve his one first. All right. So, we've moved two of the warriors up. Grimbold is coming. And now we've got a throwing spear. So, we're going to throw a spear at that Eastling. Uh, we miss. Next throwing spear coming in. Misses as well. Wow, we're terrible at aiming with throwing spears. Last throwing spear I'm going to be able to get in. Misses. Uh, so this is what we end up looking like. So now is your moves. 
uh, and then we'll go and finish mine after that. All right, so Eastlings have done all of their movements. You can see cross. All right, so we've done heroic channeling on the War Priest there. You've also spent a point of might. You're gonna try and cast Fury to get the channeled effect, which is the six up uh, ward effectively. So three plus, can you get it? You do. Thankfully, you spend that heroic might. So everyone within six inch now ignores wounds on a six plus, as if they were spending fate. All right, so over to my move then. Uh, I move this one dude to hit your dude. So we're gonna throw my throwing spear, which I hit with. And don't wound. So my movement, uh, Erwin and Hurley will retinue move up. I've sent one archer back to go grab the objective. Uh, you saw me move that. Two riders over here, but then Thurden and the Thurden comes here. I've come over here. Uh, and then a couple more riders jumping over there. All right, so shoot phase. Uh, your four archers here going into the four warriors with Erwin. Uh, so you need force to hit. And of course you've got nothing, even though you've got clear line of sight now. And so this one archer that's not in combat is going to shoot the rider, so uh, misses. Uh, so two riders of Rohan are going to shoot over here, so nothing. Uh, two archers will shoot your archers, we'll continue this war of paper. Uh, oh, I hit once. Uh, in the way, because you're in a forest, got through, can I get a six to kill? No. Two archers up here then, and both miss. Uh, that'll be that for shooting, so combats. Alright, so we're going to start with the fights. This one here I charge, so I get two dice. You're going to elect a shield there. It means you can't get any strikes, but you do get two dice. I got a six, so you need to get that. No. So I'm going to get to make strikes. I am plus one strength when I charge, thanks to Rohan. So we are wounding on fives. No, no wounds. Uh, so then this fight, you charge, so we're 1v1 over here. I got a two. You got a four, you win the fight. So five to kill the rider, Rohan. You do, kill one. Then 1v1 here. Uh, so I got a four, I got a three, I win the fight. Um, I kill you. And so then we've got a 2v1 over here. So Rohan, got a five. You got a five. Uh, you are high five value, so you win. So two strikes. Uh, got a five. Uh, so we're doing the archer versus the horse here. So a charge, so, oof, wow. You actually win the fight? Wow. Don't kill me though, thank God. That would be embarrassing. Uh, so 1v1 on that objective. You charge that one. Yeah, so I got two. I'm shooting. Yep, so four. You six, so you win it, but do nothing. Uh, so. Theoden and a Rider Rohan into the single fighter. I'll roll Theoden first, because if he rolls a six, there's nothing you can do. He rolled a six, so I win. All right, so we'll strike with Theoden first. Uh, he needs fives, got nothing. Uh, and then the other Rider Rohan needs fives as well. Nothing either, so that warrior, he loses, but he gets pushed back. All right, so Amdur versus the Rider Rohan. You're rolling first, because you... Ooh, you only got three. Okay. Um... I don't, you have high fight value, so you win. Uh, so three hits, and that is a five there to kill. Uh, so the Dragon Knight into the Warrior Rohan. I got a two, so I am screwed, especially with that. Uh, so go for it, roll to see if you can kill me. Uh, yeah, you do, six, Dragon Knight kills one. So two 1v1s, we'll start with Pike versus Spear. Uh, I got a three, got a five, you win. So go for it, roll to see if you kill, you do not. And then we've got the fight there with sword versus axe. We've got a two, wow. You got a one though, so I do win. Um, so plus one strength, five will kill you. And so three V one. Shielding. <laughs> Shielding, yep. I got a five. You got a five, you are high five value, so you do win. You can't do any strikes though, so however, yeah, you're trapped, so, but it doesn't matter, shielding. Then have a one V one at the top. I've got a four, you got a five, you win, try and kill me. You do not, thankfully. Uh, and then we've got Grimbold of Grimsdale versus that one warrior. Wow, Grimbold. Uh, you win the fight, so go for it. You don't wound me, thankfully. And then we've got a 2v1 here. Uh, what are you going to do? 
Oh. Actually, 2v2, you've got the pike supporting, so 2v2. Got a five. Uh, you got a six, you win the fight, so make the strikes. Nothing. And so that's the end of the turn. So we go into the next priority. Got a three. Got a four again. Evil takes it again. Um, so. Alright, so priority does go to the Eastlings, but I'm calling heroic move with Theoden. Uh, you're responding by calling it with Amdur. So now we roll the dice. Uh, you roll it. So on a one to three, evil. Four to six. Four. So it is going to be Theoden using it first. Uh, so that's the fight. You both, after both heroic moves, that's what that looks like. Uh, and so you've got the rest of your move. All right, so this is what the rest of your moves look like. So now I'm just going to remove my fighters that aren't in combat. So end of my moves down there. Uh, one archer's coming down to join the fray. This archer just moved back. And these guys have climbed up. Uh, so go into fights. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the fights over here. We'll start with the pony, the one that's sort of off to the side. Uh, so are you electing to shield there? Uh, you didn't charge this time. Yep, so shielding, so I got a five, you need to equal that, that's a one, and a six, you win the fight, but you don't strike. Uh, so, archer into rider, you're a three, you're five, you actually win, wow. And a five? Yep. Nope, thankfully. The other archer fight, got a five, so I win that, and I kill you. Then we got this fight at the top here. 1v1. Uh, are you shielding there? Which one is? So you're shielding, so I've got six. You do not, so you have to make strikes. I kill him. And then the same again. Mm -hmm. Six again. You got a six. Uh, your high fight value, so you push me back. Alright, so we're going one warrior and one horse there. Uh, I charge, so I got a six, means you need to get a six. Nope, uh, so I get to strike. I kill you. So Andor is going into this rider of Rohan with this. You've got a six on your roll, so it means you auto win. So roll to Andor to try and kill. Uh, no, so far. No. Uh, but you do get the other warrior will fight, so one from the warrior. He does kill me though. And then we have Theoden into this warrior here. So Theoden, got a six, so you can't win. Um, and does not kill you. Okay. Yep, so 1v1 over there. Got six. Four, so I win the fight. Can I? Nope, don't. So you just get pushed back. Uh, you Dragon Knight with three attacks into my one dude. Two, you win the fight, so three strikes against me. Uh, got me. Pike versus Javelin here, 1v1. I got a four. I got a two, I win the fight. Don't kill you. And two Javelins into your one warrior here. Gonna risk it. You got a six, so you need to get the six. Nope. So two strikes. Kill you. All right, so we've got the 1v1 up the top here, the Helminga versus the Pike. Uh, Helminga got a three, you got a six, so you win. Do not strike me, so I just get bumped back. Uh, Grimbo to Grimsdale, so I got a four, I got a four, I'm higher fight value in, than you on this one though, so he does not, 1v1 over the fence, two, two, uh, your high fight value, so you win, nope, and we got the 2v1 with your pike and sword there, I got a five, ooh, ooh. I'm going to strike, Nope, nothing. Then we've got the fights round here, so we're just going to do the Archer versus Swordsman first, and then Airwood and Swordsman versus the other dude after. So we'll start with the top. Uh, win. I don't kill. The next one. Six. Two. I win that. I kill the Archer there, the second one. Yep. And then we'll do this fight. You win that one. You don't kill me. Then Erwin and Swordsman. Uh, we'll roll Erwin first, because if she rolls a six, she doesn't. So we've got to roll my other one. My other warrior, got a one, so that doesn't matter. So Erwin, three, you actually win the fight. Uh, who do you want to put your strikes into? The other dude you can kill, or Erwin? 
I'll go for L. Gonna put the strike into her, go for it. Nothing. So that's what it looks like at the end of this round. Uh, I've got a couple of arches down here and then we've got this hanging in the centre there. Uh, so priority. I've got a five, that's a good roll for once. Yay! Good guys get priority. All right, so Amdur has called a heroic move. I'm going to counter it with third in calling a heroic move. Uh, so we roll the dice. Who gets to go? Three. Amdur gets to go first. Oh dear. All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, unfortunately, you tagged me with everything, so I've got no heroic moves there. Uh, so we'll go into the rest of my moves then. All right, so we've done a couple of moves. So we've got throwing spear here to begin with. Hits. Nope. Uh, first throwing spear here. Hits. Uh, no, it misses, so then the second one won't do anything. Uh, and that's that for my move. So you've got a couple of dudes to move over here. Mm -hmm. Right, so your moves, your big one here is the Dragonite coming into Grimbold, and you also got your climb there, uh, which is cool. So with that said, um, we're going to go into some fights. Mm. Right, so we're going to go the 1v1 here. And I got a 1, wow. You got a 3, you do win the fight. And you kill me too. Uh, we'll then go Erwin and the soldier. So Erwin will roll first. She got six, she can't win. So she... You know what? She's going to spend a point of might to make that a five and kill you. Uh, and then we'll go with the 1v1 up the top with the archer and that. So I got to... Wow. You don't win the fight. That is a draw because you're not a black dragon with your archers. Uh, so who wins the tie? Evil wins, so you get to make strikes. Nope, so I get pushed back. 1v1 up top, the pike and sword. I got a four, you got a six, you win the fight. Nothing. Uh, and then we'll just go the 1v1s here with axes versus swords. So first one, I got a six, you need to equal that. Nope. And nope. So this dude gets pushed back. And then this one. Do the 2v1 next. Shielding. I got five. You got six, so you win. Let's get pushed back. 1v1 up here. You win that one? Nope. Uh, we'll then go the Archer versus Swordsman up here. Archer got a five. Swordsman gets it. You are trapped against the edge there, so I kill you. Uh, so, this one in here against your War Priest. Uh, wow, I'm losing that. How many? So, roll. You do win that, so War Priest gets to make a strike. No. We'll do a 1v1 here. A 1, wow, number 1. Uh, you are high fight value than me, so you win. Nope. We'll just get the push back. Uh, and then we've got Grimbold versus these two, so uh, we'll go with go with your Dragon Blade first, so three attacks with him. Cool. Uh, Grimbold will roll. So I've got a six with Grimbold. Uh, and then you've got your one other dice with him. Two. Uh, so yes. you spend a point of might with your Dragon Knight to increase and make this thing a roll-off, so you win the fight now. Thanks for that. Uh, so three strikes into Grimbold with the Dragon Knight. Uh, two wounds. So got to spend a point of fate on Grimbold on a four plus. No fails his fate roll. Um, yeah, I can't even expend that with might. So Grimbold will go down to the Dragon Knight. And my little guy didn't. Alrighty, so we're gonna go over here. So we're gonna start with this fight. Um, so you charge this turn, didn't you? So yeah. I've only got one. Go six though. I win the fight. Don't kill. Um, then got the two v one. We'll do. Two v one. Okay. Your brave sacrifice. Uh, so I got a four. So cool. No strikes, but you get pushed back. Next one v one over here. I've got a four. Got a five. You win the fight. No, nope, no kill. And the next one v one with archer versus. You're five. You're six. You win the fight with the archer. No, so he gets pushed back. And then over here, uh, 
I win. I kill. So Amdo versus Theoden. Then you got five. Amdo needs to get Amdo gets a five, which means you win. Um, I'm going to spend a point of might to make my five a six. Do you wish to do the same? Yep. Cool. Uh, so we're both spending, which means you still win the fight. But go roll your dice to see what you do. Uh, nothing. All right, so the table is looking like this. Um, so we're gonna go priority for the next round. Rohan got a one, back to normal. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call Hero. Oh, uh, no, we can't. And Her Theoden's got no might to call anything. Grimbold is dead. Everyone's got a point of might, so. Hmm. Everyone's gonna call a heroic move. Right, so your Dragon Knight's calling Heroic Move back. Uh, so we now roll up and do the roll. You, your Dragon Knight, gets to go first. So everyone within six inches of him. All right, Heroic Move is done. So now Erwin will do hers. So rest of moves, you've just moved a couple over there and then over here. Uh, so I'm going to do my moves. So charging in here, throwing spear, misses. Uh, so we just put the next one in. Um, Archers oh, stay where they are. We've got my two riders to move over here. Right, so move just my last couple of riders. Uh, shooting, there is none. Oh, actually there is. Your dude's not in combat, so I'm gonna take pot shots at him. Before that though, you were doing a spell in the move phase, so on a two plus, you'll get fury off, which will make you strength six. No, so fail that. So going into shooting, this guy here is gonna shoot your dragon, your priest, uh, so hits. And in the way test, goes through and wounds him. And so we've then got the two archers here, gonna take the shots at him. Uh, one hit, doesn't wound. All right, so we're gonna start with a 1v1 here, archer and swordsman, oh wow, one. You win the fight, do you win? You don't kill me at least. Uh, we've then got the dragon priest versus Erwin. So roll your dragon. Uh, your Dragon Knight first. Yes, Yep, because... Uh, oh, no, you seem five value was there. Once you go for it. Uh, oh, Erwin has no might left. Neither does your Dragon, so your Dragon wins the fight against her. He makes no strikes, so cool. Uh, we forgot to do it. We did do the double strike against him. You still failed to wound anyway. Uh, so we go, what, 1v1 here? Oh, yep, yeah, 1v1. So the archer versus swordsman there. Cool. You win the fight. No. Uh, then we got the 1v1 here. Whoop. Rolling in my tray is generally good. Two. You win that one. You don't kill. And then we got the last 1v1 up the top there. Win that one as well. And you kill that one. Doing that fight there next. So I got a four. Two, I win. Don't kill, so you just get pushed back. And the other one on the other side near the fence. Three, four, you win that one. Don't kill, so I get pushed back. Um, then the 1v1. Six, so I win. I don't kill. And there's a 2v1 there. Shooting. You win that, but no strikes. And then 1v1 there. Got a 6. You got a 6, you win because you're a black dragon. Uh, 5 value. Nothing. Alright, so I guess the first archer there. We've got one charge, so I got 3, I got a 6. I win, so we'll make strikes against you. Dead. Uh, and then same, 3v1, although you can shield here if you want. 3v1? 2v1, uh, sorry. Three dice I'm going to get because i got a charge in there as well. Uh, I got a six. So I'm going to get my strikes. Kill that dude as well. Then these are just 1v1s with no charges. So I got five on the first one. And that as well. I kill that dude on the hill. 
Oh, this is not a good turn for the Easterlings over here. Mm. A 1v1 over here. A 6. No, don't kill him. But then, the big boys are playing, so... Got a three, wow, not good for third and you got a three. Uh we are the you are higher fight value because you'll fight six so you win. Uh ooh. and so no, Amdor needs sixes to win Theoden when he's using it as a one-handed weapon. Uh so that is that. I'm pretty sure the Eastlings are broken now. Mm. Alright, so priority. Got a two. You got a one. Uh, right, this is actually really good for me. Uh, so throwing spear charging here into your warrior. Hits and kills him. Uh, I'll then move this throwing spear into Hamdur. No, it doesn't hit. So we'll do the rest of my moves over here. Uh, so the horses have moved like that, trapping Amdur. We'll then throwing spear into your pike. Hits and kills. So um, we'll continue our move then and go over here. Uh, actually, no, we won't. We'll just stay there. We'll then move this guy in. Throwing spear. Oops, cocked. Well, again, hits. Does not wound. Uh, throwing spear here. Hits. Kills. So then he'll move there and then we'll finish our move over here. And so we finished all our moves. You've got no moves to make. Um, so this does mean this does mean you don't have to make any courage tests with your dudes, though. But uh, we will now go straight into the fight phase because there's no shooting to be done. Uh, so fights. We're going to start with Erwin. Uh, she got a six, so you can't win because she's fight five. Uh, so she makes strikes and she kills. Wow, she really kills that dude. Uh, she gets butchered. Uh, we'll go the 1v1 into the Dragonite. So roll your Dragonite first. Because right, if you get the 6, yep, 3 dice. If you get the 6, you win. You don't, so I can win with a 6. I do win the fight. You've got no might, so that'll be that. And so... Do do a wound. Uh, you don't have fate, so he takes a wound. Uh, we've got the 1v1 here. So... Uh, three to one, I do win. Don't kill though, so. Uh, we'll go the 2v1 here. And a four. I win that fight. And I kill one of them. Uh, I'm going to kill the pike. Uh, we've got the fight here. We've got a six. Just one. He's a hero though. Uh, nope, I do win the fight, so don't wound him, damn it. Uh, and then the 1v1 up here. Six. You got a six, so you win the fight because you're a black dragon. Nope. Uh, I've got a 3v1 here. Uh, what are you looking? Alrighty, so the last fight for the turn, we've got Amdur. So Amdur can roll first, so three fights. Go for it. Um... Roll his dice, see what he gets. He did not, wow, that's not good for him. He did not get a six. Theoden, Theoden wins the fight, so I'm going to win. Uh, so, Theoden will now get four, because you're trapped. Uh, and we'll do two wounds to Amdur. Uh, so you're gonna use your first fate on a four plus. Uh, he does, so he takes two wounds from Theoden. Sorry, Theoden's got another two strikes because he charged, so got another wound, so Amdur takes two. Now the two riders there have four attacks between them. They need to roll and do a wound to him to kill Amdur, which they do. The two, Amdur goes down. Turns out he does not like being surrounded by cavalry. And so at the end of this turn, it's pretty clear cut now, you're broken. Uh, so, game will end with a victory to Rohan, quite convincingly. I've got three objectives. I don't actually have that one. Um, I've actually still got that. I don't actually think you've got anyone within three inch of it. Yeah, I've got... Oh, no, that's you. Sorry, I thought it was my one. So, you've got that one. So, you've got two. Then, I've got 
six. Uh, I also did wounds to your leader, and I broke your force, so it's going to be eight two two. Today's battle report is also brought to you by Mithras Games. Fantastic tabletop wargaming mats out of New Zealand. Now, Mithras Games has a variety of different mats. We've got the fantastic Desert Red, the nice Tundra Green, and the Frosty Ice Blue here as well. All of these mats are a really nice high quality, generally very similar to how you would get your uh, mouse pads for your mats. Uh, but... Fantastic high quality mats. We love them. Mithras Games are a fantastic supporter of the channel. You can pop on over to their website, especially if you're a local to Australia or New Zealand. They're a fantastic company to help support. And so that is the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also drop a comment down below letting us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you did enjoy the video and want to can chat more with our little community here at Sinful Gaming, we have a Discord server which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel, which is either via Patreon or YouTube members, where you'll get yourself a shout out like all these people will in just a second, but also you can help support the channel and help dictate where we're going to go with the channel. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel and grab yourself something, you can grab some channel merch as well from Teespring or Kofi, both of which as well are linked down in the video's description. Like I said, a special thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lowell, Outer and Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Bloobs, Benjamin Swallows, Red Martin, Iron Grinch, Nuss, and Nicholas Colomos. Also to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Ronya, Lock Lorik, The Johnny 84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Mankiller, Monty's Tabletop Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, James South, Dave Crozier, Dylan Arino, and James Tillman. Lastly, a special thank you to Lady Witchfox Art, who does all the amazing artwork you see pictured here and indeed all over the channel. And also a special thank you to everyone who helps with the battle reports, everyone who helps with miniature supplying and everything for the channel, including running our Discord server. Thank you all so much once again, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.